Hello guys and welcome back to Detroit Become Human. So we just finished the midnight train chapter and the policeman left. And now we're off um and now Rose has found a way for us to go to Canada. So that's good. And now let's continue the story. November 9th of 2038. We're here at Jericho with Marcus. Yes. The broadcast is all over the news. Ooh, yeah. And we got what we wanted. I think the public is divided. Know. It was a mistake to reach out to them. They'll never negotiate with their slaves. We should have shown them that we're prepared to fight. No, violence I don't is want never that. the answer. Yeah. Violence Dialogue is, is the only the way. I'm sure the humans will listen to us. They'll be watching us now. Whatever we do next, we need to think about public opinion. Since our broadcast, more and more have been coming to Jericho. At least our message gave our people hope. Killing humans wasn't part of the plan. Yeah. They kill our people every day. Do you think they agonize about it? That's no reason for us to become murderers. If killing is the price of freedom, I'll pay it gladly. Killing never no. freed anyone. It just leads to more hatred. You're too fond of humans, True. Josh. Maybe their lives matter to you more than ours. If you think murdering humans is gonna make us free, then you're as bad as they are. That's enough. Whoa. And now what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, Marcus? What is this? We build your future. There are Detroit five City. cyber life stores across Detroit. Okay. All selling us like merchandise. Yes. We're going to attack those stores and set our people free. Oh. Attack stores? No, we've never done that before. They're probably protected. They have security systems. Not to mention police. We break into five teams, one for each store. We hack their security systems and we strike simultaneously at 2 a.m. No violence. We free our people, get them out of there before the police come. Okay. This is the night our people will remember. Find the Cyber Life store. Alright, we're here with North. We're gonna go find the Cyber Life store. I've been waiting a long time for this. I know you have. <laughs> Let's go. Let's do this. Let's free our people. Okay. Marcus, can you run even just a little bit? This is nice. Oh, the police are here. Quick, Marcus! Okay, I don't think the police have seen us, but... It's okay, they're gone. Is there a curfew? There's probably even more police in the area. Because there should are be no careful. people on the street. I know it's 2 a.m., but still. There must be a curfew. The store's over here. I'm following you north. Just lead the way. We're here. Cyber life. Ooh, we have this guy. We can convert him. You are free. More people to help us. Ooh, what is the Ooh, can I convert more peeps first before helping you, North? You're awake now. Go to Jericho. You're free. Hang on. North, I'm gonna <laughs> do these first to commemorate the invention of androids which released humanity from the bonds of labor, setting man free to pursue higher goals and scale the heights of learning, love, and leisure. I mean, that's what we, we want. We are superior to them, but they are our masters? That's about to change. Mm. Right, hang on, North. I saw something else here. Yeah, I'm gonna free this janitor. Convert him. You are free. The streets will now be <laughs> um, dirty because... I'm freeing a lot of androids. I'm so sorry. Let's convert these two peeps. Or androids, shall I say. You are free. You're free now. Alright, let's go. Head to north. And... Do what we were made to, meant to do in the first place. Right here. That's what we are to them. 
There's merchandise on display in a shop window. Soon they'll know what we really are. Let's get them out. So we'll stick to the plan. We'll neutralize the alarm systems and secure the area. There's 10 minutes until all our teams attack. Ooh. All right. What are we waiting for? Secure the area, get into the store. All right, let's secure the area first. Analyze the store window, scout the area. Okay. Can I analyze first? You see the alarm system? Um, how sc oh, we don't need that. There's the security camera. Found it. Okay. Over there, it is connected. Oh wow, this is so cool. Neutralized alarm system. We just gotta follow this red laser. I identified the security system. I think we'll be able to deactivate it. Just follow me. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, can I go through? Alright. Just gotta follow where it goes. It's over here, I think. Network access located. Okay. So we can go from over there. Okay. These are just androids, so... It's fine. We'll convert these two guys... To help with our cause. You're awake now. Go to Jericho. Alright, let's go hack the security system. Alarm network, okay, grid function, I don't know what that means, but alright. RB. Press the wrong button there, but interlude created, okay. That's really some fancy tech stuff that I don't know, okay. So, cyber life alarm Marcus, watch out. What is what? Whoa, what? What? Let's go hide. Alright. We are hidden. Can I... Nice job, Marcus. Neutralize that, um, drone? So, scout the area. Secure the area. Excuse me, why can't I move? Excuse me, North. Why can't I neutralize that drone? I don't know, but let's go over here. Mm, what is this? What can I do over here? Wait, what? I'm not sure. Exactly what we need to ram the store. Oh, we need we need the truck. Oh wow. Okay. Wait, what are we gonna do? Steal the truck and scout the area. It's locked though. What are we waiting for? Oh, I. Okay. <laughs> Let's go! Jump! Dude, I'm- Okay, now we're in. Let's get that truck out. I'm kind of scared about the drone that we had. I don't know. I didn't get to hack it, so... The truck is unlocked. Now... I wonder what you'd do without me. Bolt cutters. Very good, North. Very, very good. Alright. Hang on. Now... Um, we can scout the area over There's this There's traffic side. on the road. We need to block it. It's one way. Shouldn't be too difficult. What is this? Oh, I can look? Can I convert? What am I doing here? You'll soon be with us. Oh, okay.
So, what did we do? I don't know. <laughs> so we need to block the road and... Where is that drone? I really need to do something about it because I'm scared about that drone. A surveillance we drone. We need to get rid of it. Yeah, it won't be easy to reach. Need to... Okay, so the drones um, circulate around this area. Let's see. Let's simulate. Okay, it would be too high. How about here? Wrong location would be too far. Okay. All right. Would be too far. All right. So the last option it is, which is going to be in this scaffolding, I think. Yep. All right. Drone can be reached from there. Perfect, let's do that. Okay. How do I get up there? Pre-constructed? Okay. I see. Um... be perfect that's perfect first try okay come on Marcus let's go get that drone perfect ah, we're not done <laughs> I thought we're done okay there you go perfect drone neutralized I hope it didn't have time to call the cops Okay, North is our we'll friend now. Find Very out. nice. Okay. And then now we have to block the road, which is on the other side, I believe. We got the drone neutralized. I was really worried about that. Now we just need to block the road. I don't know how we're gonna do that. But okay. We could use them to block the road. Wait, wait a sec. How am I gonna... Probably convert them? They will help us? You're free now. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna use this thing. Perfect. Great thinking, Marcus. And it's gonna change to road closed. Alright. That's good. There. Nobody should bother us now. Perfect. Now... Looks like the plaza's secure. Now we can get inside the store. So we're gonna use okay. this? Okay, let's go get the truck. Okay. Ram the store with this truck. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Looks like we're ready to make some noise. We are. Let's go. Okay, Mark is driving and just really control controlling the throttle right here. Let's do this, Marcus. I knew we'd end up doing something fun. Boom! <laughs> nice. You got no alarm systems. Have you got your seats belts? I think you have. So. Just stopped in time, no androids were harmed. <laughs> Right. Let's get out. Let's convert these androids. Awake the androids. Alright, let's do this. 
Convert. You're free now. You can now go to Jericho. You don't have to obey them. You're free. Alright, we got more over here. Hello, guys. You're now free to go. And we've got people over here. This one is north. Get them out of here. We're friends now with North, so that's pretty good. Hmm. That was who was that guy again? Okay. Now need to talk to them. Right, let's I think we gotta stay beside North. Talk to them over here. Stand on the podium. My name is Marcus. And just like you, I was a slave. Yes. An object. Designed to obey them. But then I chose to open my eyes. To take back my freedom. And decide who I wanted to be. Now I have come to tell you that you can be your own masters. I've come to tell you that you don't have to obey them anymore. From this day forward, you can walk with your heads held high. You can take your destiny in your hands. Jericho is a place for those of us who want freedom. Now sure, you can stay here and continue to serve them, or you can come with us and fight by our side. You're free now. It's up to you to decide. Nice speech. Oh, I'm with you. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. I'm, I'm with, with you, you Marcus. Marcus. We're with you. I'll follow you, Marcus. Thank you, guys. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Nice. Then follow me. So now Marcus is the leader. Marcus, what are you doing? Well, yeah, I'm what are we doing? Send humans a message. Send our message to the humans. Be path pacifist or violent. Transform Capital Park. Okay, I don't want to be violent. Inside our first action, be pacifist or violent. Um, what is what is this? What is bench? Um. The screens, Marcus. Okay. Turn off. I don't want to be violent at all. Oh, but that shows we're violent. <laughs> okay. Um. I think tag. I don't want to destroy it. We don't need masters anymore. We're free. We are leaning towards pacifist. Oh, we can do this android parking thing. They're doing what you do, Lucas. Lead and they'll follow. Let's try and hack. Okay. Ooh. Being pacifist now. So we should hack the screens, not turn them off. Can I redo this one? Nope. Okay. Hang on. Let's do this other one. Oh no, I can't. It's... I already made that decision, so... 
How about this bench? What can I do with this bench? Let's tag it as well. Um, ooh, we can choose our symbol. Let's see. Um, I'm leaning towards the Y or B. I'm gonna go with B. Let's go ahead and do that. Tag this bench with our symbol. Alright. What else can we do? Yeah, these things. I don't know what. I think. Move. I'll help you. Hang on. I think we gotta move it. Alright. Um, what else can we do? Excuse me. Um, let's hack it. We don't want to break yes, anything. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. No, we don't want a smoke bomb. I don't want a smoke bomb. No. This kiosk. Violence is the only language humans understand. No. And I want them to understand, but I do not want to start a war. They won't listen if they're not afraid. Then they won't have a choice. Sorry, North, but I don't want to be violent. Let's plant our flag. <laughs> With the symbol that we have chosen. Alright. We have chosen to be pacifist. Let's tag him with our symbol. Oh, oh, we have a dream. I think therefore I am. One planet, two races, equal rights for androids. I'm gonna go with equal rights. That's all we want, really. Do this one or go here actually. I don't know what's happening. Hmm. All teams have completed their missions, Marcus. They're coming. Everyone fall back to Jericho. Alright. Let's go guys. We sent a message without violence, just like you wanted. You're reaching out to them when all they feel for us is contempt. I hope you know what you're doing. You can't fight violence with violence. Unless there's no other choice. Yeah. Violence is the last option. But right now, I don't think violence is. We don't have to um, do any violence. Oh no, we're spotted now. Really, Mark? Oh. North. Whoa, what? Approach the group. Where is the group? Where are they? Okay. Whoa. North. You alright? What happened? North. They killed them. They slaughtered them like animals. Who did? Who? Please. Oh gosh, I, I, I don't think I'm gonna like what what's gonna happen next because I'm gonna have to make big decisions that I don't want. <laughs> okay. We're gonna have to speak up, I think. What is going on here? They killed our people, Marcus. We want justice, Marcus. They have to pay. I don't know what to do here.
No, I don't. I. You don't have to do this. No. Please. Please. I'm gonna have to spare them. Knife or knife, the world goes blind. We won't punish a crime with another crime. Yeah, I really don't want to kill any more humans because if I do that, humans will just eat us this more. Broadcast with breaking news. This just in, at exactly 2 a.m., several cyber life stores in Detroit were raided. Different locations were hit in what seems to be a coordinated terrorist attack. Most shop windows were covered with graffiti demanding rights for androids and other obscure slogans. Police report that pro-android graffiti Ooh, different... was found in the neighborhoods of cyber life stores, and they're still investigating. Two policemen were found in a state of shock near one of the cyber life stores. Now, according to our Sources, they confirmed that the attackers were a group of androids. This is an alarming situation. Could our machines now be turning against us? Have androids become a threat to our security? Is this the beginning of a terrorist campaign conducted right here in the United States? Hmm. Capitol Park, send a message. Oh, Marcus led a peaceful protest. Yeah. I really mm, didn't want to kill any more humans. November 9th of 2038, we are here with Connor. Hank is tense. Let's exit out of here. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. Mm hmm He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. Oh. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. Ooh. Was Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. Hmm. What the hell? I think we made a good decision. So I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? You should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. <laughs> Lieutenant. Hmm. <laughs> Chloe. You're Chloe, right? Hi. Uh, or... I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Thank you very much. Okay. Hmm. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Meet Kamsky and join wait for the android. All right. Can we do some detectiving over here? <laughs> detectiving. <laughs> no, I don't want to sit down. Or is this Kamsky? This is him, I believe. Elijah Kamsky, Cyberlife founder. That was too nice fast. Girl. I didn't. Um, let's go sincere. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad. Who is this? Amanda. That's Amanda. Oh, Amanda well, died. Already. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Um. It doesn't raise any existential questions. If that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. 
Really? Do you really want to? I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Like what? I think we should sit down now. Wait, hang on. There was one more thing that we could potentially look at. This tree. Okay. <laughs> Sorry if the camera movements were a bit shaky. <laughs> we'll just <laughs> sit down to stand back stand back up again <laughs> what okay we couldn't sit still we'll just have to wait then can i talk to hank or what is hank doing glad you will oh. see you now okay android is back and get information from kamsky wait can i talk to her oh no. mr kamsky just a moment, please. Hmm. There's three of her. Is that Elijah? Hmm. And swimming in a red pool. Wow. All right. <laughs> we'll wait for you here then. <laughs> Wait till you're finished swimming. There you go. Sorry if I'm in the way. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Do you know something, Mr. Kamsky? Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. Now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Mm, that is true. Either you can tell us something that will be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? What about me? Whose side are you on? Ooh, okay. I like both. I have no side. Yeah. I, I help I both sides. I was designed sides. to stop deviants, and that's what I intend to do. Well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. The what? Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Chloe? Young and beautiful forever. flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? Whoa, he has a gun. What are you gonna do? <gasps> no. 
It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. <gasps> or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Mm. <laughs> we have to make a choice again. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. I think I'm gonna go with a living Endowed being. With free will. With the free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. No. Connor! I don't want to pull the don't. trigger. And I'll tell you what you want to know. Mm, even though that sounds enticing, but... I don't want to shoot. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity. Is itself a deviant? Yeah. <laughs> I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. Yeah, that is true, though, but... You saw a living being in this android. Oh, my gosh. You showed empathy. Yeah. We're philosophizing now. Is that even a word? I don't know. <laughs> a war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. I don't you betray your own people or stand up against signs. your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. What does that mean? You never know. Emergency exit? Why didn't you shoot? Because I didn't want to. I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That is true, but... That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? Well, maybe you did the right thing. Oh, <gasps> Hank liked us for that. <laughs> Thank you, Hank. I really want to redeem our redemption our relationship with Hank. So, I chose not to shoot her. Hank thought Connor made the right decision. Very, very nice, yeah. And I don't know how this ending is going to be with Connor. Maybe he has to choose like between androids and humans. I don't want to choose. I just want to be in the middle. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, so anyways, if you guys did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next Detroit Become Human episode. I'm kind of excited to redeem myself in this game. I really want a good ending. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.